Good morning, YouTubers. T Square with T Square Talks. Hope everybody's having a great day. I am super excited for today because not only do we have an awesome video, we're about ready to do another amazing package opening. Uh, if you guys saw yesterday's video, it was kind of part one of my huge purchase uh, on a bunch of gold coins. And today we're going to be doing part two. But not only that, tonight is our members only event. So it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to give away a free ounce of silver to one lucky member. If you'd like to join that contest this evening, uh, it is free for members. However, to become a member, it is $1.99 a month. You can cancel at any time. And it's really cool because you get a lot of cool perks of being a member. And for $1.99, it is a steal in my opinion. We're going to be doing it this evening at right around 9 o'clock central time, plus or minus a few minutes. And not only do you get to enter the members only event this evening, but being a member, your comments go straight to my phone. So I, anytime you have a question or something you can ask, if you want to see a video on something, you can shoot me a message. All your comments go straight to my phone. Plus it helps out the channel and it's pretty cool to be a part of it. Um, so with that being said, we are going to jump right in. We're going to bust open this package. Uh, also, if you really want to help out the channel, all you got to do is take a quick minute, cost you nothing, hit that thumbs up button, and leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. If you're new to the channel and you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button because it helps out the channel more than you know. We are trying to grow the channel, and it's a lot of fun. We do a lot of cool stuff, do a lot of cool events. Uh, probably going to have to be doing another uh free subscriber silver giveaway so that will cost you nothing uh to be involved in that you don't even have to be a member and that's even cooler especially if we give away a bunch of cool stuff i thought about doing a video on it here shortly i'm kind of debating i don't want to do it too early if it's still a little ways out but it is something you know that's that's a lot of fun so we're gonna bust this real quick open Make sure there's only one. In yeah, I guess they're all in one envelope. It's starting to fall out a little bit, so I better check twice here. Uh, it is actually uh, two, kind of two package openings in one. Wow, it's a lot of cool stuff here too. Eleven tenths of gold. Um, so super excited for that. So we're gonna be busting these babies open and see what we got here. Now, I did test uh, everything uh, from yesterday in yesterday's package open. I showed you guys how the Sigma works. And so I probably won't be doing that again today. If you guys are interested in how the Sigma works, then definitely go and check that out. So let me get these all spread out so you guys can see them. So I was kind of freaking out just a little bit uh, off camera. Uh, because I counted them and I was like, oh my word, I'm missing one. And at first when I counted them, I kept counting tw uh, kept counting 10, but there should have been 11 in all, but it turned out, uh, one of the, one of the tubes, they were just kind of like perfect, perfectly overlapped like that. And when I looked, I was like, what in the world? And I kept counting and I was like, oh my word. And so I paused the camera and I was kind of getting a little nervous. It's like, what? Because I've never had any trouble. This The person I bought these from is uh, Twin City Gold. They are in Biddeford, Maine. So some of you guys have been following the channel for a while. No, I was just recently up in Maine uh, for my dad's funeral. And I end up, everywhere I go, I kind of try to build up some knowledge of the area i look for coins and stuff and they have an amazing uh shop there so if you are in the area in biddeford maine or anywhere in maine i know a lot of people seem to drive out of the state because some places they do charge tax on gold and silver and i'm not sure if maine is a state that does if you're there um you know so it's something definitely if you're in the area go and check them out i'm going to show you guys what i picked up i think gold right now is really about ready to do phenomenal uh literally i think uh they're going to just really just go crazy um in the prices of gold 
I think a lot of people can't prepare for what's coming. I think silver's going to do really well too. However, I got a little bit more of a soft spot. I guess you can say gold is starting to grow on me. Maybe it's the beauty of it. I don't know, but I've been picking up more and more of it. Uh, so we got a regular Britannia here. Let's see if we can kind of zoom in a little so you guys can check that out. And there's a lot of repeat coins here because I ended up just taking whatever I could get a good deal on. Um, and then literally right after purchasing this stuff, we've seen the price kind of pick up a little bit. We're seeing gold. We got a maple leaf right there. Nice little one-tenth ounce. I know some people will ask me, darn, you picked up an ounce right there. Why wouldn't you just buy um, a, a full one-ounce coin? If you're going to pick up 10 little ones and there is a reason for that because I have noticed that less people can afford gold now, less than ever before. And as that continues to pick up, I expect that that will be even harder and harder to purchase as the price continues to climb. What do we have here? What is this one? So that looks like a old Britannia. Because it was an our choice, so I basically took whatever they had on hand. Um, but And I haven't tested these yet, but I did test everything with my Sigma yesterday that I got in, and I've not had any trouble. So I think they are really uh, a good, knowledgeable company um, at spotting stuff. I, I always worry um, if I'm not right there, if someone tells me, hey, I got these, uh, T, you interested in them? And... <clears throat> I'll be honest, it always worries me because I'm not there to look at it. And then I have to put a lot of faith in the person on the other end. So that does kind of worry me sometimes. But uh, yesterday everything paid off. And I really think looking at these, I think it's going to pay off again. I mean, check these out. Check out the beauty on these coins. We're going to talk a little bit more about gold uh as the video goes on, I just kind of want to show everybody what came in. Um, and, you know, like I said, uh, we're going to be having our members event this evening. So definitely uh, stop by. Even if you're not a member, you still come and, and check it out. Watch it. It's a lot of fun. Uh, you can root for your favorite member to win. Another maple there. I can't even remember what all was coming in. You know, I'm not going to lie, I really like that old Britannia. Might be the first time I've seen that one. You know, I'm seeing more and more people out there are selling gold. Why are they selling gold? They think that gold at $2,500 is, is peaked out. They think that it's going to come back down, and I really don't think that's going to be the case. So we got an Australia one here. Let's see if we can get a good nice zoom in on that. Nice little 2017 Australian kangaroo. Pretty there. Where's this one? Another Britannia. Not an old one, but an, it's not a current one either. Let's see if we can get the date. I guess it is. 23. 2023. It looked a little different. A little bit of handling on this one. You can see that they did... Someone, not they. I mean, you know, when you get a good deal on coins, you just kind of got to roll with it. Not going to be able to get a good focus in on the detail on that one, but that's a really nice, I still like it. I mean, you can't turn down gold. You really can't beat gold. Favorite one, though, might be that really old Britannia. You know what? This might be an old one, too, looking at it. That design looks a little bit different. I'm hoping it's another old one. I like the old ones. No, it's not a Britannia. That's why. Oh, it's a 1993 Australian Nugget. One-tenth ounce. That is pretty. I like that. So, pretty cool there. So, so what happened this week, this past week... We've seen gold and silver really take off. We've seen it have a good run up. Let me refocus in there. I, I apologize when I'm when I'm up close, pulling back up close. Don't always get the right focus in right off the bat. Um, so what happened this week? Uh, we had some amazing run on gold. We've got gold literally 
only about $10 off from its all-time high and looking like it wants to go higher. Uh, I did find it interesting the way the day closed out on Friday. We had gold slowly moving up, but then once the day started winding down, we started seeing it go flat, um, almost like it was having a hard time punching through uh, the next high. And I'm not at all worried about that because I think the news came out that essentially they're going to be cutting rates. And as they decide that they're going to be cutting rates, um, I think that we're going to see gold go even higher. I know some people out there believe that, oh, no, the economy's in trouble. That's why they're cutting uh, interest rates. And that is why they're cutting interest rates. Has a little bit to do with that, a little bit to do with the banks. But we all know the economy's in trouble. They've been talking about how great the economy is, but then they revise the numbers. And if you really are looking, if you're going out, you're looking around, you can see that things ain't as good as they've been. I've heard talked to some people, they've been making excuses saying, well, that's because everybody's back to school and people are tightening up their spending. But in my personal opinion... I don't think that's the case. I think that the economy is tightening up. More and more people are defaulting on their cards. Uh, more and more people are just defaulting because they don't have the money. And then on top of that, we're seeing some big companies do layoffs. And as that continues to happen, that can only mean one thing, that the economy is slowing. And I think that's one of the reasons why they are cutting uh, interest rates. Now, some people worry as the economy slows, that runs the risk of stock market really taking a big hit. Um, once they do lower interest rates, though, that easy money could end up pumping up the stock market because people are more apt to want to gamble money in the stock market. However, in the past, we've also seen when the economy slows down that the stock market takes a big hit. And if the stock market takes a good size hit, generally you run the risk of a short-term gold and silver pullback. And silver, whenever silver pulls back, it pulls back kind of hard. So there's a lot of people still out there believing that we could see $26 silver again. And that kind of worries me because if you're on the sidelines waiting to buy gold and silver, no matter what, in my personal opinion, we are due for a big run up. And I think the next run up, we've already seen $32.50, not even a month and a half ago. And I think we could end up seeing it go up again and blow through that and really shoot up to $35. And when you look back at these prices, you're probably going to be like, man, I wish I had bought more. Because there's a lot of people out there that were waiting for a $20 silver price. And we saw silver really go at the beginning of the year. It was down to $22 roughly, 22 and change. And a lot of people were just holding out for that magic $20, and they missed it. They missed the boat. Now we're up to 30 and they're still waiting for that pullback. And sometimes I find it interesting because when I talk to people, they get so set in their ways that they don't want to be wrong. And because of that, they're willing to hold out and then in the end end up missing out altogether. And I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I've never done that. I have done that. Not on gold and silver. Um, because I've been relatively lucky. I'm calling calling some good dips and just getting in before we've seen big jumps. But when it comes to other other personal things, I I have kind of held out and and hope that things were going to go my way on certain things, and they just never did. And at some point, you have to admit, well, you know what? Maybe they're not going to go your way. Maybe you just need to accept things the way they are. And I think a lot of people need to accept that gold and silver is going to go higher. And, you know, if we do see a dip, are the premiums going to jump up? Are we going to see silver shoot down because the economy is so bad and it's tanking? Let's say we see silver shoot down to $25. Who's going to be selling it for $25? I won't sell mine. I have no intention of selling mine. I will hold out until the end. Um, for any of my real hardcore coin collectors, if anybody knows the size on these, I am out of capsules. I, I usually like to put them in capsules. Even though I've been putting them in little dime capsules, I'm all out of the dime capsules. They don't fit, though, perfect in the dime capsules. I, I'm trying to find out. I've been looking around online to try to figure out what size most of these are. 
even if they don't fit perfect, uh, because I do want to get them in capsules. Like I said, I've only got one left, and I just picked up 11 more coins. Um, capsules just tend to disappear quick. I don't know where they all go. I'll show you guys what they what I mean by the, uh, they don't fit perfect. So if you look at this, and this came in yesterday. This was the polar bear. See how there's a little bit of a gap, but I took the smallest size. They I just plucked out the center, and that was as small as I can get it. But I'm fine with it, even if it don't fit perfectly. But I'd like to find some actual official, the right size stuff. But, um, but yeah, like I said, I think a lot of people are just going to miss out on gold and silver and... It's going to be tough. Gold and silver has been a hedge against inflation for a long time. And here we are. Let me refocus that. And here we are now um, really experiencing inflation. And, you know, a lot of people think that the dollar could never collapse or the dollar could never severely lose value. But, you know, Venezuela was one of the richest countries in South America. And it didn't take long before they just slowly started losing then they started out at like two percent inflation three percent five percent seven percent ten percent twenty percent and it just kept escalating and escalating each year the interest the the percentage of inflation just got worse and worse and people were just getting destroyed had people put their money in gold and silver over there they would have been sitting pretty uh, even though they would have only preserved their purchasing power. But it would be nice to be able to take your money and all of a sudden you see prices of everything just skyrocket, but yet your money you're not experiencing because you're holding gold and silver. Because gold and silver will be going up along with everything else we buy. And yes, I totally know, well, then you'd have to sell some of your gold and silver to buy groceries, but it's a whole lot better than the people that are holding dollars and losing value rapidly. And I think that they're going to have something will come about that will make it a whole lot difficult. I'm fixing to shoot a video, I'm hoping this week, where I'm going to be going and meeting with someone with a coin like this. So this just happens to be a coin that I just recently picked up. I picked this up uh, fairly inexpensive. I paid 30 bucks for this. This is a Morgan dollar. It's not a, a super popular year. It's a 1921. It's not in the greatest shape. However, I am fixing to show you guys in a video, I've done it before, how easy it is to trade something like this and get a good amount of groceries or other items for it. Now, it does take a unique situation. You have to know that you're talking to the owner of a business. And, you know, I'm hoping he's going to let me film and discuss with him. I've already touched base a little bit with him and said, hey, if I was willing to trade you one of those uh, really old Morgan dollars that you were telling me about a while back, you think you'd be interested in trading me some groceries maybe? And I'd already talked to him and he's like, yeah, I would do that. I, he goes, what do you have in mind? I said, well, if I trade out one of these Morgans, I'm hoping that I would get you know, 50, 60 bucks in groceries. And right off the bat, without hesitation, what do you think he said? He said, oh, heck yeah, I would do that. Because that only has like a maybe a $15 cost for me. So I spend 15 bucks and I get a Morgan dollar. And this is what I've been trying to tell a lot of you guys in previous videos. And I'm going to have to do another video showing you guys to really help people understand how easy it is. I know I've talked to members of the channel and they're like, dude, you're the only one I've ever met that does stuff like that. Uh, in general, you can't walk into a store and just say, hey, can I trade you a Morgan dollar? And it doesn't really work like that. You got to really learn people a little bit. But we're hoping to do a video on that. And I think you guys are going to love that because a lot of people always want to tell me if everything goes crazy and the economy tanks and the world's falling apart, no one's going to want to eat your gold and silver. And to a point, yeah, that's true. But gold and silver, it's a hedge against inflation. And... 
it's an item that you can trade. And here's the thing, these gold coins, you think people wouldn't want something like this, a solid gold coin to pass to their kids, their sons, their daughters to have. A lot of people put these on pendants. Uh, people like them. You know, I ended up picking up one one day real cheap. It was actually a 14 karat gold ring and it had a panda, a Chinese panda in the middle of it. And here's the thing, 14 karat is not pure gold, but the panda that was embezzled in the ring, that was pure gold. And the guy came in, he's like, it's 14 karat. I know what 14 karat should cost. I already know it's 14 karat and this is how much it should go for. So what are you going to offer me? He goes, well, do you mind if I look at it for a minute? He goes, there's really nothing to look at. It's 14 karat. I already know. I know what I'm talking about. And then, you know, it just made sense. My buddy that was dealing with him, he said, you know what? Okay, I'll give you this for it. He said, okay, good enough. See, no problems. Took the money and left. And then he looked at me and he said, look at that ring. And I said, is that a real coin in there? He goes, yeah, it's a 999 Panda. And I was like, what in the world? And so we ended up popping out the Panda. And I ended up getting the Panda at melt price. And then basically he got the rest of the 14 karat gold ring at next to nothing. So, you know, a lot of people, a lot of things you can do with these. And I, I tell you these little stories because it, it puts more of a demand on gold and silver. And it really does because people can do a lot with it. I had someone tell me, what are you going to do if they confiscate gold? I said, I'm going to have a whole lot of gold jewelry made right off the bat before the expiration date. Or I'd melt it down and make a necklace. Um, you know, these coins, a lot of these coins are, I do have a lot of American coins, but these aren't American coins, um, you know, so, and then some people will say, well, collectibles anyway, you know, you can't, but collectibles are funny because some people will say these are collectibles. Some people will say they're bullion. It all depends. Even coins that are certified and graded, you could make an argument on that. It's still a bullion coin. They just put it certified. Um, and I'm not convinced that they're going to really go out and confiscate, even though I hear some people tell me they only buy pre-33 gold because of the numismatic value and they can't confiscate it. The truth of the matter is, if they want to make a law to confiscate gold, to confiscate silver, to confiscate anything, they can make a law and people will choose to uh, abide by it or won't abide by it. And I, I find that interesting where people, you know come up with these things and they put out an argument to convince people to spend more money on it. And once people realize that, same with certified coins. I'm not a huge, huge fan of certified coins. I do have a bunch, um, but I'm not a big, big fan. Did I pick up the one in front of you? Yeah, I got a good deal on it. So I picked it up. Um, and that's the only reason it was in yesterday's package opening. So that's why it's sitting there. With that being said, we're at 23 minutes. I'm going to wrap up the video here. I thank everybody for watching. If this video sounds like a good video that you would watch, how to trade some silver for groceries today in today's world, leave a comment and say, I would love to see a video on that. If enough people say it, then we're definitely going to have to do it. I don't know if it would take off, so I, I got to hear a couple people say it in the comments. Please give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and again, if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys all tonight at 9 o'clock roughly, Central Time, and hopefully we'll have a couple new members. If not, then we're going to carry it on because we got 43 members anyway. And anybody that joins today to become a member will also be in that uh, event this evening and if you just pop in and you're like I didn't sign up yet you can still sign up and get in a little late we got plenty of spots open right now um, that we can go to for tonight's giveaway I think we can go up to 75 after 75 I don't know I'll probably have to give away something else because uh, I, I don't have enough spots so I'd have to divide the people into two groups maybe and give away two is and that's probably what I would do if we get 75 because I only got 75 numbers. So with that being said, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys again on T-Square Talk. If you like your odds, it's going to be a lot of fun. Take care, everybody. Keep stacking. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye. Or tonight, I should say. Tonight. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.